Hello everyone, this is Mike1217, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. In the last episode, we freed Diddy Kong and got each of our new characters their own weapons. For Donkey Kong, we got the Coconut Shooter, and for Diddy, we got the Peanut Pop Guns. And now that we have those, we can come back here in the cave that we entered the very beginning of this world, and open up this gate. Oh, wow, and get hit by a beaver, too. Um, God, it's so dark in here, too. Um, just keep moving over this way. Open up this gate, which will lead to new areas. Okay, good. I'm gonna, I'm starting to get used to that already. Z and left on the C buttons. Okay. Left C. I, I guess I'll just call them up C, right C, left C, down C. Alright, so that opens that door. We have some banana coins and a gold banana, too, so very nice. We can get the first gold banana for Diddy Kong here. Looks like they have larger... Not a lot. I tried to, I tried to press A for whatever reason. I, I think I was trying to roll into it thinking I'm playing Zelda again. But yep, here we go. The first gold banana for Diddy Kong. Very nice. Now we have four in total. And we also have a red balloon. So, of course, you can shoot those with their... Uh, equip you. Yeah, you, you, you can't equip your uh, weapon from the first person mode. Um, come on, seriously. I'm going to have a lot of trouble with that. I'm really bad at that. You can see a grape switch for a different Kong. And so, yeah, we'll be coming back. So, that's an example of coming back here with a different Kong. So, we can't get everything in this world yet. Um, I could show this off, but I don't really think it's a good idea right now. I mean, I, it doesn't really matter. It, it, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it. We're here, might as well do it. This is Trough and Scoff. This is where we'll be accessing the boss in the world. And the story here is... Tr uh, Trough, I guess Trough the pig, Scoff the hippo. Trough is the only one that can turn this key, because apparently they can't switch places, so they're just too fat, they can't move. Unfortunately, he's too heavy, and he just can't reach it, and uh, the, the pad they it's like he's holding down the pad they're stepping on. So what we need to do is bring bananas back and, f and feed um, Scoff, the hippo, and make him heavier, and then making him heavier will push the scale down, and well, we'll, we'll kind of see what happens. I'll be able to demonstrate this a little bit. The number on the, on the door there... 60, that indicates how many bananas we need for Trough to reach the key. So basically, you have to collect a certain amount of bananas in order to access the boss, as I said in episode 2. So yeah, as you can see, the platform's now raised, and now he's higher up, so that's kind of the logic behind it, is that you need um, to basically feed Scoff bananas, make him fatter, and he'll be able to push down the weight and push Trough higher up so he can reach the key. As you can see, we only need 22 more bananas to reach the final boss, but I'm not going to do the final boss until I've done everything there is to do in the world, as I mentioned last time. That's kind of how this Let's Play is going to go. I'm going to try to do as much as I can before I can fight the, the uh, boss of the world. So we're going to continue on and get more gold bananas, and hopefully get some more abilities too. I believe we'll be able to reach Cranky Kong pretty soon. Now that we've opened those doors with the coconut switches that were, you know, there to free Diddy, it kind of did two things in one there, it freed Diddy and also opened up a new area. But I'm not going to go there yet, I'm going to get some things done with Diddy here. And we should be able to access this. First, let's get these uh, bananas around here. We see a peanut switch around here. Oh, and there's also a new character we can meet pretty soon. I'm not going to talk to him quite yet. I'll, I'll come back with Donkey Kong because there are some bananas down there for Donkey Kong. I'm going to do this right now. I'm just going to kind of wing it. There's no really order I'm going to do things in. Again, you know, this is a game I haven't played in a long time. I don't know this game like the back of my hand. I know it pretty well, but... I mean, again, like, don't expect an organized walkthrough. I, you know, I, I'll, I'll miss things here and there, and I'll do things in weird, I might do things in a weird order. So I'm pretty much going to do things the way I feel like it, 
But just because I say that, it doesn't mean, you know, that you guys are, are left out out of the playing experience. Um, like I said in the description of the first video, um, oh wow, yeah, thanks for that welcoming right there, Zinger. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, you guys are. Oh shit! Yeah, you can. You can't shoot when you're kind of in your normal running around mode here. I'm always used to doing it first person. I like to take out all the enemies first. Unfortunately, you can't move in first person. Um, something I talk too much about in my Zelda Let's Play. Anyway, yeah. Um, don't hesitate to give me suggestions on w w what to do next and where to go. If I'm, you know, if, if I'm just going too slow and if you just think... Like, if there's a, a certain banana that I can get that I don't know about, and you guys you know about, go ahead and, s and say something about it. And if there's just a certain banana you want to see me do, just because you think it'd be fun to watch or something, go ahead and say something. I mean, I'm very open to comments and suggestions leading me in the right direction. Because, again, you know, I'm not perfectly familiar with where to go next. I might brain fart here and there. Okay, it turns out that was a waste of time. Um, I decided to cut that out because it was a waste of time. Let's see if I can get on top of that. Damn it, I was going to try to get on top of that. Okay, so, we, um, yeah, I went in there into that cave and discovered that I, couldn't, I can't really do anything in there quite yet because I need a certain move from Cranky Kong for Diddy Kong. So, I'm going to do that right now. But first, let's go and do this building. Might as well do this now. Because I believe we're going to find a certain enemy that corresponds to this guy. This guy's name is Snide. He's not a Kong buddy. Uh, he used to work for K. Rule, and he... Well, basically, what he did is he designed the Blast-O-Matic, which is what K. Rule is using. I was hoping to use to uh, destroy Donkey Kong Island. Kind of a big deal right there. And um, basically what he needs are these blueprints. And we're going to need to collect all the blueprints in order to help us with the final... It really doesn't make sense right now. But it'll make sense at the... Uh, make fence is the final area. God, I cannot talk. It'll make sense in the final area of the game of why we're collecting all these. But basically, we want all of them. Um, when we bring him back blueprints, he'll give us golden banana. So that's that's an, an incentive enough to go collecting these blueprints. But it'll make sense at the end of the game while we're collecting these. But for right now, all we need to know is that we'll get gold bananas for bringing these back to him. So there you go. That saves me some explanation. And there are specific enemies that carry this. I should be able to show that off in the cave. I don't have any blueprints, so I'm going to have to exit. I'm going to switch back to Donkey Kong because I think his blueprint is located in the cave. First, let's get his bananas here. We have a, ba we have a banoon. I'm just not making sense of anything right now. As far as like my pronunciation, I'm like switching letters up and everything. Okay, hopefully I can get up this. Very nice. Let's just go back down to the bottom. You can see there's some bananas in the trees here. I should just get those out of the way. Again, um, let's see. What can I talk about with, with bananas? Um, there are a hundred bananas for each Kong overall in the world. And you need 75 at, at least to get a banana medal, and each con could get their own banana medal. So, um, I'm gonna be just going for the banana medals, and right here, th this is the enemy that we have to take out in order to get the blueprints. These are called splats, and what you have to pay attention to is their hair color. This is kind of hard to tell, but this guy's hair color was yellow, which is Donkey Kong's uh, color. So, yes, the the splats will have hair color, yeah, right here we have yellow, or not yellow hair, um, purple hair, and also they also slam on the ground and create, like, shock waves corresponding to that, to that color, god, I can't talk, 
that color as well. And I just went the wrong way. You can see feathers uh, on the switch is here, so we have to come back here with the Kong that shoots out feathers. And we also have to come back here with the Kong that has a pur the purple color corresponding to him or her. It turns out to be a her. <laughs> It would be the same. It actually turns out to be the same Kong that has the feathers and the purple color. So um, I think I, I actually want to go down the middle path. So let's get a whatever it is, a watermelon, and go down the middle path over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where I want to go. Hopefully, I don't need any for this. Yeah, okay, there are yellow bananas. Usually, whenever you see bananas corresponding to a certain Kong going in a direction, then there's probably something else for that Kong there, too. So, up this way is Cranky Kong, and we'll be able to get a new ability for Diddy Kong, and maybe also for Donkey Kong here, too. I'm gonna see if I can get a new ability for Donkey here. First, let's get this banana. This is something I'm gonna be doing quite often, is stopping for these banana balloons. It's always the first thing I do whenever I get to a new area, is collect all the bananas that are hard to get there. And we have enough coins for the next move. I believe we should be able to get a new ability here. I mean, if the coins appear up at the top of the screen, that that does signify that you can get a new ability. So we're going to get Baboon Blast. And I like how in the parentheses there, they have like a scientific name for it. Barrelum Perilous. Kind of adds a interesting touch to it. Rare, rare humor. I like r rare, rare humor a lot. I mean, if you play their games, then you know they have a great sense of humor. Especially if you play Conker's Bad Fur Day. Okay, so we're going to be looking for Donkey Kong pads. Something else I can explain, too. Um, the abilities you get from Cranky will kind of vary in how you can use them. Um, basically, um, other than the ground pound, which we got in the first little area of the game, there are three different types of abilities you can get for each, each Kong. One ability you can use just freely in the world. Um, they're kind of hard to explain. There's one ability that you can use um, with Kong pads. Basically, there will be pads with your Kong's face on them. And then there will be abilities you can use with Kong barrels, with, which are barrels with your Kong's face on them, which we haven't gotten to yet. But yeah, that ability that we opened up there with Donkey Kong with the- oh, are you serious? Get away from me! Larger... Naughties that don't really do anything different than the normal size of them, so they're just big as they can. So we're up here, we have another switch. And in here is... A box that has a familiar face on it if you've played the Donkey Kong Country games. We have Rambi, an animal buddy, an animal buddy favorite returning from the Donkey Kong Country games, and the animal buddies in this game are kind of dumbed down from what they, um, how do you use their attacks, holy crap, B, yeah, okay, use B to unlock switches, and I can see like the faces of other Kongs would be unlocking, so really we can't do much with these switches now. We we'll have to do this when we come back to the world. But yeah, um, there's a couple things we can do with Rambi. But anyway, the the animal buddies in this game don't really play as big big of a role as they do in the Donkey Kong Country games. You only see them like they're only placed in one world. They only you only see each of them in one world. There's only two animal buddies total in the game. Okay, I cannot see where I'm going. Oh, I can't go here. Um, there's supposed to be another spot. Hold on, let's see if we can find that other spot where I can take, take ram. Yeah, right over here. We have to ram down this wall with the Rambi. But, um, yeah, the animal buddies. There's only two of them in the game, and they each only appear in one exclusive world and in one exclusive area. Rambi, of course, only appears here in Jungle Japes. So that's kind of that's kind of a bummer that you don't. See, oh, come on, I suck at this game. You can see that. I'm like coming close to dying all the time because I can't like I can't do my moving attack. I'm sucking at that. But yeah, Rambi only appears here in Jungle Japes and and 
he, he can only be used by Donkey Kong, and uh, the other animal buddy we'll get to later. He's in, like, World 4. So, yeah, the animal buddies don't have that much of a use. They're only really used for opening up a few new things. Like, Rambi was used for opening up those switches. And he'll also be used... Hopefully, I don't walk too far here. I need... Uh, I'm having that brightness problem on the TV again. Okay, um, how do I do that? There we go. Okay, that works. And I guess that's all. So, basically, that was all we used Rambi for. That's it for using Rambi, as far as I know. And we have another... Uh, one of these uh, portals to Trough and Scoff. So yeah, there are multiple Trough and Scoff portals throughout the world. I think we probably would have enough bananas to get access to the boss right now, but again, I want to get as much done as I can. So I'm going to continue on, and I'm going to go back to Cranky. I'm going to get Diddy's move, because that's the main thing that I came back here for, was to get Diddy's main move. Or not main move, his new move. The one that we need to get in to get into that cave area that we accessed earlier. And this should be the, an example of a move that you can use. We have five coins, plenty of coins. Uh, this should be an example of a move that we use, that we can use freely in the world. And it's it's basically the non-pad, non-barrel move. I don't really know how to describe these moves. This is called the Chimpy Charge. And if you hit Z and hit B, okay. And, th and that's what a lot of these moves, like the controls for these non-barrel, non-pad uh, moves are. It's you hold down Z and hit B. And that's how you use them. So I'll be able to show that off. But yeah... Basically, the reason why I couldn't do anything in that cave earlier is that uh, I needed this move in order to access something. You know, that's basically what it is. You just charge like that, and you'll be able to hit certain switches on the wall like that. But, but before I go to that cave, I'm going to do this. Hit this switch. And that will open up a gate out here. Um, each Kong has a challenge like this in this world. And that is right by Funky Kong, so, um, I think I know how to get to that. And of course it's timed. I'm gonna go to four, and then I'm gonna go to two. Which is right on the other end here. I can also, I guess I could also, you know what, I'm gonna climb up the vine. I think climbing the vine would be better, because I'm not 100% sure where that two thing goes. Uh, yeah. I would have presumed that you have plenty of time to do this with Donkey and Diddy Kong just because, you know, we're early in the game, they're the early two characters. So, yeah, we have plenty of time to get this one. And we have Diddy's second gold banana. Now, I, I can go up, go back there and get Donkey s switched too, I, I guess, but uh, I'll worry about that later. For right now, I'm going to go back up to that cave, and actually, you know what, I'm going to do that in the next episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Return- not Returns, oh my god. Donkey Kong 64. Oh my gosh. And, um, we will do the cave up here with Diddy Kong, and get whatever he needs to get in there, so. This is Michael207, signing out.